What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily. So it should come as no surprise, I have a ton of connected smart devices all throughout my house. Everything from the thermostat to my robot vacuum to nearly every single light bulb and the dozen or so smartphones I have at any given time, along with the usual laptops and smart TVs. And while my space isn't particularly large, only about 1100 square feet, my main Wi-Fi router and modem have to be set up in my bedroom, basically the farthest distance away from my office with a bunch of cement walls in between. Pair all that with my general need to always have the latest and greatest tech, and that's pretty much how I ended up here, wanting to upgrade my Wi-Fi setup to this, the new TP-Link Deco Wi-Fi 6E. And thanks so much to TP-Link for partnering up with me on this video. Now, this is not just another mesh Wi-Fi product. On the surface, sure, it is a familiar two-pack router setup that's designed to help broaden your Wi-Fi network, eliminate dead zones, and ensure sure you get the most reliable connection across dozens of devices, no matter where you are in your home. But this is also TP-Link's first Wi-Fi 6E router setup. I'll expand upon that in just a moment, but for now, just know that with a new 6 gigahertz band, this is going to open up the fastest possible Wi-Fi speeds up to 5,400 megabits per second combined and deliver incredibly low latency for smooth streaming, gaming, browsing, and anything else on over 200 connected devices across 5,500 square feet of space. And most importantly, while similar Wi-Fi 6E mesh setups from Netgear, Linksys, or Asus cost upwards of $500 and in some cases command even a four-figure price tag, TP-Link sells their setup for 299 bucks. So I think you can see why this was so enticing. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the unboxing and setup process of this new TP-Link mesh setup. I'll take you through the app, we'll do some speed tests, and I'll also break down why Wi-Fi 6E is so valuable, not just for today, but perhaps even as a way to future-proof your network for years to come. Now, full disclosure, I have tested and used a few other TP-Link products over the years. You can find those videos on my channel still, and one of the first things that draws me back to them is the easy setup process for all their mesh Wi-Fi systems. And that's the story here, too. Inside the box, you're given everything you need to get connected in just a few minutes. This is a two-pack mesh Wi-Fi system, obviously, so you first get two identical TP-Link routers, one which you'll use to connect to your cable modem, and the other you can place somewhere else in your home or office to expand that Wi-Fi network. And we'll take a closer look at those in just a second. You'll also notice, printed on this smaller package here, a four-step instruction guide for getting started. And inside this little box are the last few accessories you'll need. There's two power plugs for each of your Wi-Fi routers, an Ethernet cable if you need one, and the actual instructional booklet that seems thick and daunting, but don't worry, it's actually just a couple of pages of information printed in a million different languages. The actual Wi-Fi routers themselves are pretty straightforward, and to be honest, fairly attractive, which sounds weird to say, but I actually don't mind having these like out on a table or desk. Some other Wi-Fi routers have crazy hideous antennas and things, but these are a pretty minimal design, which I like. They're both identical, like I said, so it doesn't matter which one is your main modem connected router and which one is your secondary. Around back, they each have their designated power ports alongside three Ethernet ports. So you could theoretically have five additional wired connections plus your WAN connection. At the bottom, there's some ventilation, the reset button, and your LED indicator, which helps you with the setup process and lets you know if your network is functioning properly. Like most other TP-Link Wi-Fi products, setup is done primarily through the app, which is available for both iOS and Android. And this is also where you'll control your home network as well. Like I said, the whole process is very easy. In following the on-screen instructions, Instructions, all it really asks you to do is temporarily unplug your cable modem to reset it, then plug in the modem and your main TP-Link router, connect up the modem and router together using an ethernet cable, and once all the blinking lights are properly illuminated, the app will automatically create and set up your Wi-Fi network. Once your smartphone recognizes that new network, you can denote where the main router will be placed. For me, like I said, it has to be in my bedroom. And the app will also detect a few more settings automatically, 
And last but not least, you'll be able to name your new network and set a password. And that's it. For me, the whole process took less than five minutes. I pretty much filmed it in real time. And once you have the main TP-Link deco set up, you can quickly add that secondary router as well by tapping the little plus icon in the app and following pretty much those same steps as before. You'll want to decide on the best spot for this secondary router, and TP-Link will even give you some suggestions based on how many floors you have, the layout, or other factors. But a good spot is at least halfway from the main router or perhaps in an area of your home where the Wi-Fi network is particularly spotty. With your whole network set up and your routers placed, that's actually it. You don't have to do any more, but the TP-Link app has a few additional features and options that can help you get the most out of your new setup. For starters, you can of course see every device currently connected to your network and the data usage as well. For those of you into home automation, you can also create different shortcuts that'll control certain connected devices, turn on or off different smart home tech at different times if you have them. And there's also Home Shield. A subscription plan that unlocks additional network protection, safety features, monitoring, reports, and more, though it's completely optional. You can actually run a basic network scan if you want, and the app will tell you if it notices any issues like a weak password, performance problems, or firmware updates that should be installed, and that's all pretty helpful. You can also blacklist certain devices from inside the app. You can enable and control your guest network, also mess around with some advanced settings that are beyond my technical know-how. The most important option I want to show you is how to get the most out of the tri-band network capabilities and Wi-Fi 6E. This mesh setup offers up to three separate network frequencies, 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, and the new 6 gigahertz band. You can enable or disable each one individually, but I would personally enable them all and connect, say, less important or less network dependent devices to the 2.4 gigahertz band, free up the 5 gigahertz band for gaming, streaming, video calls, and other bandwidth heavy stuff. And with the 6 gigahertz band, you can either set it up as a dedicated backhaul to act as a direct wireless connection between each node of the mesh network, or if you have devices that support it, you can set it up as its own dedicated third Wi-Fi band. So if you have, say, a Google Pixel 6 or 6 Pro or S21 Ultra or one of the newest top-of-the-line gaming laptops, you can likely take full advantage of this new Wi-Fi 6E band, which will deliver some of the fastest and most reliable network connections that are currently available. Between 2400 megabits per second each on the 5 and 6 gigahertz bands and up to 574 megabits per second on the 2.4 gigahertz band, you can get a combined 5400 megabits per second out of the three network bands if your ISP supports it. For me personally, my ISP isn't delivering any groundbreaking speeds, but after fluttering around 3 to 500 megabits per second over Wi-Fi usually, I've now been seeing closer to 700 megabits per second. And like I alluded to earlier, with a setup like this, incorporating the newest Wi-Fi 6E standard, you're essentially future-proofing your network setup. This technology is a year to two years old, if that. There's less than 200 total devices that currently fully support the 6E standard, but before long, every new piece of tech is likely going to support it. So rather than playing catch up with your Wi-Fi, you're pretty much getting a head start. And that's kind of the whole point. In addition to all that, you're going to have an incredibly reliable mesh network for your casual everyday internet needs that with the help of AI automatically learns and adapts to your network environment and customizes the optimal Wi-Fi flow for devices and your unique home. Most importantly though, even though you are literally getting the latest and greatest Wi-Fi tech that's available right now, you aren't going to be spending a ton of money for it. The new TP-Link Deco Wi-Fi 6E is an affordable yet state-of-the-art mesh network setup that genuinely does deliver the fastest available speeds with the latest technology, all for a fraction of the price of the competition right now. I'm really excited to have this setup in my space and have all my various connected devices set up with it now, and I highly recommend it if you're looking to not only upgrade your current Wi-Fi network, but also perhaps plan ahead for the technology of the future. So there you go. That's what I'm rocking now for my new home Wi-Fi setup. Let me know what you guys think of this new TP-Link Wi-Fi 6E technology in the comments down below. I'd love to know your thoughts, of course. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video though. Be sure to follow Tech Daily on Twitter and subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you haven't already. 
and I'll see you guys later.